Okay, right into it. Fully retract and fully protract. Most guys you see are not doing this. The shoulder blades are staying silent. So they're not fully contracting or fully shortening the pec. And they're not fully lengthening it or stretching it. So you have to make that muscle move. You have to make it fully contract. The shoulders have to be moving. This is what I see. Shoulders stay silent and just the arms move. And the shoulders are all rounded forward. This is more of a bench press and that's fine where you maintain the retraction. But if you want to really grow for optimal or full development, you have to fully shorten it. You have to move the protract. You have to protract your shoulders forward. So this is what I see. So the upper back is rounded. That's thoracic kyphosis. And the shoulders are anteriorly tilted forward. The scapula anteriorly tilted. That means they're shifted rotationally forward. So you need to have your shoulders down, your chest up, and the thoracic spine extended. So that means your nipples go up to the sky. So that allows you to fully stretch your chest. So when you stand to the side, you want to be looking at the center of your ear or your external auditory meatus, your chromium process, and your greater trochanter, which I missed. They should all be in a straight line. So that's slouched. Your stomach is weak. So you want to have the shoulders back, down, abs are tight, and then the nipples and the sternum, you want to point the sternum up. And then a trick to keep in your thoracic spine in this position is to look at the point in the ceiling and focus on it. So you bring your arms all the way back, the shoulders are pinned back, pinching each other, and then you fully protract. And when you could see me when I was shirtless, I was getting... Um, some blanching erythema because the whiteness in my between my shoulder blades was cutting off the blood supply. That you should be pinching your arm shoulders that high. That's a drill that you can do with the protraction or the retraction. Make sure you're not elbow bending your elbows. It's okay if you do it a little bit. Here's a demonstration with a band. Um, I think bands are really good, but I think upward flies and cable flies would be really good for developing this connection. First, you need to practice with just being able to do what I'm doing, film yourself, or really just look at yourself in the mirror. That's actually better. And just make sure you can move your shoulder blades without moving your upper back, your lower back, or your neck. And then your shoulders aren't tilting forward. I'm doing the, the anterior rotation or the anterior tilt. So keep the chest up. Keep your head in a certain position. So. You want to stretch all the way and then fully protract. That's that's the big difference. Those shoulder blades have to be moving. <laughs> and you just looking at people while they're doing their chest presses. Like the, the shoulders are always forward. People with small chests, their shoulders never move, but their delts might be big. It might be bigger than mine. So good for you. So with this band, just move it forward and back, and I have it position laterally from me so you get the highest stretch or the highest uh, tension on the band when you fully protract and that allows you to feel that pec firing when it's in its fully shortened position and i'm saying that's what a lot of people are missing so grab your chest really hard make sure it's getting tight feel it get tight go to midline and then cross over and you can do some pulses at all the way at the midline and there you go you want you're welcome you owe me bitch face thank you